Hello, crazy friends! It's your Jamie from Marmel Tammy's Atelier, and today I'm gonna make a mushroom. <laughs> uh, we went for a long walk the other day uh, on the other, um, other lake nearby. I mean, it's not very nearby, but anyway, <laughs> the closest lake we could get to. <laughs> and um, yeah, I found that, that tiny, tiny little mushroom. So the, the, this water that I'm going to attach uh, is um, it's actually kind of a micro shot. Uh, this mushroom wouldn't be more than one, more than one or two centimeters, like really tiny. And um, yeah, I was surprised how I managed to get such a good shot with my phone. Uh, and I, 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 I really liked it. Uh, the the light and uh, and the shadows they're just perfect. And um, the surrounding is blurry, so we can use some bokeh techniques and some loose uh, um, techniques uh, for the background. And then for hmm, I'm touching my hands. And uh, we can do some really detailed work on the mushroom. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Will, you will enjoy it. I, I have attached also the drawing of um, the mushroom uh, in the description below. Um, you can. It's very simple, so you can actually make your own uh, <laughs> drawing. Uh, but just I'm getting into that habit to attach it anyway. And also I will put the photo once it's my photo. Then I can put it on so you can see what um, I'm doing and you can use this as your reference to it if you want to uh, paint this uh, little mushroom so my uh, plan is that I'm gonna start with the background so I'm going to add uh, this is a small uh, brush I'm going to get a bigger one just to uh, wet my background so uh, just to say what my preparation that I've done, uh, I cut, um, uh, I got a f A5 as as spectrum um, rough uh, 300 GSM watercolor paper and I cut it down to 6 by 6 inches so it's, it's square and um, uh, I have, um, I've got a video how to cut a uh, deckled edge uh, paper if you're interested in or you haven't, uh, you, you know, don't know how to, to do that. It's very simple, but I've got a video that you can have a look. And um, I masked it with my reusable uh, masking tape. Reusable, only reason because uh, it doesn't stick to my paper, so it doesn't tear it. It, it sticks just enough to for me to get the straight edge uh, and and that's it so it doesn't really tear my paper if I've used it a couple of times so that's why I am uh, saving them if they are decent obviously uh, if they're damaged I have to use a new one and then I have to take the lots of tagginess on my clothes and uh, if it happens and uh, sticks on uh, my paper and is about to tear it, then I'm getting my heating tool or hair dryer and, um, and I'm warming up the glue that comes off easily easier and doesn't get the paper. So but that, um, I might do another little... Um, video about uh, that little trick because I think it's pretty useful and you will understand more what I'm talking about so for the moment I'm just uh, wetting my paper for my background I have uh, sprayed my pretty excellent uh, colors they're ready there to be used uh, I have taken off the lot of graphite from my drawing so I won't see too much uh, harsh lines and uh, I've got my two jars of clean uh, water and my clean paper towels also I've got a couple of brushes here 
uh, this is a size 10 I'm just using it as a mop right now um, I, I don't need a mop because it's a uh, it's a small it's six by six inches 15 by 15 centimeters so it's okay I don't need too much water on it so that do the job and then I got uh, my liner and my hummingbird <laughs> I'm calling it hummingbird it looks like hummingbird doesn't it <laughs> anyway so uh, I think that's what I'm gonna be using for now and uh, once my paper is still gleamy which I think it is at that point uh, I should start um, throwing some grains uh, so let's make some couple different grains. I'm just grabbing some light ones. Um, we just need just a few different kind of grains. It doesn't really matter what kind you're gonna use. So with this olive one to make it light, I'm gonna be using my okra or uh, cadmium to make it darker. I'm gonna just grab some blue and. Uh, If I grab this blue, let's see what happens here. Oh, I use, yeah, <laughs> so whatever it's on my brush. Oh, that's a nice kind of almost turquoise, pretty dark. Okay, so, um, let's throw some darks. <laughs> Maybe some darks. Oh, that's a nice color. Um, Maybe I should be using a bigger brass, maybe. Okay, um, I'm going to keep my um, my mushroom. And by the looks of it, I'm going to lose my drawing. <laughs> The good thing is that I have taken a photo of it to, for um, to, of my drawing to put it on um, on the description for you guys. So if I lose it, it doesn't matter. There we go. I can find it. I have it. I can follow my um, my lines. Only because I, I I didn't really copy exactly the lines of the grass on the on the photo. I just done a little bit uh, a little bit of my kind of movement. Uh, I will see though. I, mean, I might not lose them now. Once it dries up, um, I might be able to see them. We'll see what happens. Yeah, better be not that stubborn and I should just use a bigger brush to make my life easier. <laughs>
Maybe because I don't want um, very even. I'm just going in as this. Now that it's kind of half wet, half uh, dry, I'm just creating some uh, passage with my big brush. <laughs> I'm definitely not following much of my photo when it comes to the background. Definitely some browns. And as they're going towards the back, they're becoming a little bit more olivey and blurry. I'm just thinking, how about if I use uh, this fan brush? Would it create any texture? Maybe not. Maybe I uh, have to wait a little bit to dry and then we'll see if uh, it gives me any texture. Um, so by this point, I think uh, it is time for me to. Let it dry, see how it will settle, and um, and then I will come back to continue with the rest of the grass. And we'll start the mushroom. The mushroom I will leave it right at the end. Um, it's normally not how I am actually operating. Hmm, maybe uh, some dries now. I will do, I will start the mushroom too. Like I will put the first um, the first colors, the first layer. Maybe I should just keep some kind of just a little bit bokeh technique. Just take off a little bit paint here and there when it gets a little bit boring. Um, and we'll see what happens. Oops, moving. Uh, let's check now if this idea there's anything here that I had with this fun brush. Um, nah. 
So now we're working with the watercolors. Yes, I can see some interesting uh, marks. Hmm. This one is really like not a bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, they will they will kind of mix up after. Okay, let's see what happened there. New grains. Okay, I think I've done enough marks with this brush. <laughs> I can keep on going. Um, okay, now I think it is time to start uh, putting a little bit of color on uh, my mushroom. And then we'll go back and I will start uh, doing the, the grass when it is completely dry. Uh, so, 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 uh, let's see. Okay, for this, I think I'm going to use some burnt sienna. Rinsing and some cadmium orange. Probably I should put a bit more or even some uh, what's that? Cadmium red or vermilion. And if you don't have completely a uh, steady hand, don't worry about it because the mushroom doesn't really need to be completely straight. Actually, a little bit wiggly, it's even better. So I'm painting uh, wet on dry. For the shadows, the first layer. And as we're going into the brighter areas, We're working mainly with the cadmium orange. A little bit too bright. 
So I'm going to stone it down. We'll leave it to dry in that way. And I think I'm going to still wait a little bit longer to dry a bit more before I get into the leaves. Um, so I'm going to pause now and I will continue when it's all dry. Uh, okay, because it hasn't tried yet, but because I can't help myself to stop uh, painting, <laughs> I can't stop painting, so I decided to work a little bit on the mushroom, and um, that's why now I, I came back. Uh, so I'm just adding some cadmium uh, orange uh, on my and the light areas of uh, the mushroom uh, and also a bit out on the on the feet on its feet so that gives a glow like a little glazing on top and on the dark side of the mushroom i added some uh, more burnt sienna and some burnt ombra And now I'm gonna go and add some uh, some cadmium orange just to unify. <laughs> so on the picture, it is uh, definitely some areas that uh, they have white. Um, I'm tempting to cover them, but I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Um. Just do a little icing like that with clear water on top and so it's not so bright and definitely I have to go back in and uh, and tone down my uh, my shadows my shadows side oops I think that's a bit too strong <laughs> um, or maybe not yeah, because once it dries up, it's like nowhere near to what uh, we put. Okay. Uh-uh. Just adding some very fine lines, the brighter areas. I feel like it's um, 
this brown leather body is a little bit too opaque for my like but um well that's what came up now <laughs> and uh, i'm getting into ruby red and mud red um I'm just dipping my brass in both of them. Oops, I did think. I'll grab two minutes. They, the pretty excellent colors are uh, are reactivating very fast, and then once you you go in with your brush, you just grab a whole blob of paint. So you need to be careful. Uh, to make sure that you don't have too much paint on your brush if you don't it's if that's not your intention Yeah, and that little tint of um, mother red, I think it's great. That's what um, you needed to soften the brown. And we can go and take off a little bit of color with our uh, napkin. It's cool. Probably I should just. Uh, Stop working on the mushroom for the moment and uh, start working a little bit on the background. It is kind of dry but not a hundred percent so I might going to get my uh, heating tool. And I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm going to uh, put some music, uh, otherwise you're going to hear the annoying uh, noise of the heating tool. And then I will start uh, painting uh, the uh, the grass uh, ar around it as it's been uh, drawn. Um, so, yeah, I will put some music and I will be with you uh, towards the end. I think that's the point that um, I've, I've done enough. <laughs> uh, I did add some uh, white wash for the highlights and a little bit uh, yellow wash on the flower on the leaves. Sorry, um, just for uh, just for the highlights, so that they didn't. I, I did not add much. And uh, uh, what else I've done? Just add a little bit brown here for to create the, the sense of the soil. Oops, now I did it in the wrong column. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. Here's a bit, bit more brown just to create the sense of uh, where we are on the ground. We could just spread it very regularly. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, I've done my mushroom. <laughs> uh, I've done my blurry and messy grass that it is surrounded. I think I'm happy with it. Uh, I achieved the light and the dark of uh, of the mushroom, so I'm happy with um, how it came up. And uh, I think it is time to leave it now. 
as much as it's hard, or it's hard for me to put my brushes down. Uh, I have to. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like it, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we will be painting lots of different uh, uh, subjects and we'll be using lots of different um, mediums. For the moment, I'm using lots of uh, watercolors. Um, but I like pastels, I also like pencils. So, okay, we'll be doing different, uh, we'll be using different materials. And uh, we'll be sharing all our tips and tricks related to art, not only particular to watercolors. Um, now it is the part that uh, we all like, I'm masking. Uh, well, it was very wet painting, plus because I've used my uh, recycled <laughs> um, masking, it has bleeded a bit. But uh, it doesn't bother me um, at all. It's kind of the loose uh, kind of painting that uh, the all the background has. If it's a, a lot at, a, at the one spot, you can just uh, reactivate and, uh, and lift it. Or you can just put some white gouache and clean it up. But I think I'm fine. Because once you frame it, if you frame it, uh, then it will cover all of these edges and you won't be able to see anything. Or if you just uh, want to scan it and do some digital art, then you just crop it and uh, again you get rid of this bleeding here there's no issue uh, now it is time for the initials and also didn't uh, remind you to make sure that you are clicking the notification bell because that will notify you every time we are uploading a new video and also it will explain to you what kind of video it is so if you're interested you can come and watch it if you're not interested you wait for the next one <laughs> um, if you have a specific um, request please feel free to um, put it down at the comments below and uh, I will try my best to fulfill it This is the only painting, or oh, only painting, anyway, in one of my paintings that I haven't used my paint is grey. And uh, do you think I will manage not to? Let's put a little bit at the end. Yeah, and ruin my painting, what do you think? <laughs> uh, sometimes, yeah, when we overwork it, we, we are ruining it, so we we'll have to stop. Okay, first done, that's it, enough. Thank you so much for watching me. Hopefully we'll see you soon at my next video. Until then, be happy, be creative, oh, and keep painting. Bye for now.